Good morning. I'm Cindy Marquette, the Community Manager for ESNA Technologies. I'm excited to be here today with David Petromala, the Executive Vice President for Business Development and Sales at ESNA Technologies, and Good Allison morning. Bacamazzo, the Managing Content Producer at Content Boost, TMC's Custom Publishing Division. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Cindy. So today we're going to have a brief discussion about uh, ESNA Innovation for Cisco Collaboration. UCNC collaboration trends and the future of enterprise collaboration. So, Dave, how has working as a, with a Cisco channel partner expanded your business? Well, Cindy, it's actually helped us tremendously because as an innovation company where we focus on immersive collaboration within workflow, it's allowed us to really zero in on our expertise, which is about uh, rapid innovation, uh, innovating around use cases that business uses and then we've leveraged Cisco as a strategic partner not a vendor but a strategic partner to help us grow our business and help us articulate and evangelize what we do to its existing customer base and it's actually given us the ability to expand you know rapidly to the global market so instead of us investing in a big massive marketing and and sales machine and hiring millions of people to sort of evangelize the the value we deliver on immersive collaboration it's allowed us to look at the market see the market leader Cisco especially in the mid to large enterprise provide them a solution that takes advantage of their massive infrastructure and killer technology and then deliver it with appropriate use cases by making it immersive within workflow and within businesses without deploying any software focused on cloud and mobile and that allows us to deliver solutions, them to articulate the message, and allow it to present it immediately to customers that need this technology. So as a company, we've grown tremendously in the last two years. We've been able to provide uh, what I would call tremendous amount of uh, use cases and solutions to global customers uh, in the mid to large enterprise. And because of that, you know, it allowed us to engage technically with these customers who've given us tremendous feedback uh, which allows us to innovate even more. So what you've seen from the, the beginning working with Cisco, which is solving a, just an immediate small use case of unified messaging with cloud, expanded rapidly into immersing voice and video and you know collaborative technologies like WebEx throughout all these different business solutions. Sounds like an exciting, evolving partnership. Absolutely. Why would you recommend Cisco Solution, the Cisco Solution Partner Program? Well, you know, why I would recommend it is it's more than just a vendor creating product and then getting listed on a website. It really is a strategic partnership where you're, you're you know, collaborating. Uh, you know, we collaborate all the time with Cisco and its customers. That's the key thing is giving us access to talk to the customers, understand how they run their businesses and the different workflows and silos that they're sort of sorted in. And then with Cisco jointly, we collaborate on delivering a joint solution that addresses these needs. So it becomes more of a strategic partnership versus a, a vendor relationship where you know Cisco attests to it, right? They're a great sales and marketing evangelist with great what I call networking technology that rely on partners like us to innovate on top of that. And then when it's a solution that really meets customer needs, they embrace it and take it to market with vigor. And that's what they've done for us and it's allowed us to really expand what we do and Again, I always like immersing myself with strategic versus what I call tactical vendors, and it's and it's been a very successful venture for us. Great. Well, I know that Allison uh, had some questions she wanted to ask as well about um, communications and collaboration for the enterprise. Allison, thank you, Cindy. Absolutely. So, um, my first question would be, um, how has the communications and collaboration market changed in the past few years? You know, what evolution are you seeing personally? Well, you know, there's a few things that I would talk on that top. Uh, I'd address on that topic is, there's the one is that we've gone from you know delivering technology to understanding that we have to deliver use cases. So, gone are the days of just saying, look at all the technology we can deliver you, voice and video and all this neat. Uh, components that you can immerse into your business, but the problem with that is, you give you all. If I give you all this technology, but you don't know how to leverage it, or you don't see where I can immerse it in my business to create value, it becomes sort of a wasteland. And that's why, for years, you saw like the UC industry sort of, I wouldn't say blast off. It sort of trailed along because people were so busy building technology, they didn't think about how a business could adopt and take advantage of it. 
we're at that sort of chasm. When you look at sort of the, the, the networks built up, the bandwidth available to any business out there globally now, um, uh, you look at what's immersed around cloud. So, you know, clouds give us this sort of ability to access technology like we've never had before with little to no investment in infrastructure, right? And then you look at the transition of people moving from, you know, I'd have to go to my work, log in in my PC to actually do work versus I could be anywhere I can. And, and we don't live on our PCs, right? We, I would argue that more, more of us live more on devices than PCs, and that device could be a Chromebook, could be a tablet, could be a mobile phone. How do we now take this technology and immerse it in the way people do business to create value? So this sort of collaboration business, is not it's not about technology, it's about solving use cases and delivering technology to address the way workflow operates within a business and delivers value within that workflow. So uh, I would argue that if you don't address that or you're not thinking about that, your business will be short-lived. For people to really have a long, what I would call, sustainable business, they have to be investing on solving use cases within an organization. And that, you know, and, and if you think about it, in, in the old days, uh, I'm going to go old days, <laughs> I'll date myself 20 plus years ago, you know, the center of communication was evolving. It used to be, you know, people don't remember this, it used to be letters and mail then phone became the center of communication. Fax became a big piece of way of you know, immediately sending data over. And then all of a sudden, email was this epiphany. And we all started building uh, collaboration around email because people were living in email. Well, even that's changed. The center of the way we do business is not email anymore. Some people live in CRM. Other people live in Salesforce automation tools. And I would argue that social platforms are now becoming, especially I see this everywhere, they're sort of springboarding in certain areas like marketing groups and sales divisions and then going throughout customer service where now social platforms become the center of the way we do work with one another. So now, you know, you have to deliver what I call this immersive access to live communications in all those use cases, email, social, CRM, anywhere where there's interaction offline, we now have to deliver real-time interaction to, to drive productivity and to enhance the way a business operates. And, that's what I'm seeing. That all our investment, all our innovation, especially at ESNA, is how do we solve those problems? People live in these different workflows, different applications. And again, even bigger changes, right? Those applications aren't desktop applications. They could be mobile. Uh, more and more of them are just web-based, no more software. How do I deliver that consistent user experience where traditionally I could just provide you more software that you deploy to deliver it, to giving you no software, but the same user experience that's even more immersive? That's where I'm, I'm seeing dramatic changes, the sort of infrastructure, the way we do business, the way we spend our time. How do I deliver collaboration to address all those needs? That's the biggest thing. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so to that end, you know, what is Esna's roadmap and vision around the collaboration space in particular with what you're doing and developing with Cisco? So you know, think about the sort of, I call it the peanut butter. And we, we have this theme of peanut butter and chocolate, right? Perfect together, or peanut butter and jelly, perfect together. Um, and I coined this thing, you know, Cisco's, they call themselves the Internet of Everything, right? They've got this massive, great, scalable network that really touches everything, and everything is actually online. So what we would consider ourselves is the collaboration of everything. So if you take that infrastructure and you layer this immersive collaboration framework that ESNA has, we want to deliver this sort of Cisco network immersively everywhere that people live, workflow, applications, devices. So immediately you could have this uh, access to real-time voice, video, collaborative session. Could be WebEx, could be Jabber, could be just standard voice. But the idea of allowing applications, devices to be collaboration endpoints, right? So no matter where I am, what device I'm in or application I'm working on, I have access to this immersive Cisco collaboration framework, which could be Jabber, could be WebEx, could be Call Manager, could be Telepresence doesn't matter to us and they're doing some really in neat or what I call innovative stuff around cloud as well. We're going to provide that infrastructure that sits on it that will connect Cisco to this immersive what I call enterprise cloud and mobile workforce that can have access to what I would call enterprise grade Cisco infrastructure and collaborative tools. Perfect. Thank you. Um, that's all the questions I have on my side. Um, so Cindy, I'll turn it back to you. Excellent. Thank you, Allison. I know I'm really excited, Dave, about the immersion of 
um, communications into the social realm because I, for one, would love to see more communications moving from email to you know where I live every day, which is on my devices, as you said, and, and on social platforms. So that's really exciting. Yeah, no, I know. I see this, you know, as more and more, you, you've seen it already. We see it in a lot of enterprises where socials become a core in a certain group. It, it quickly spreads sort of virally within an organization because it just gives you this perfect match of asynchronous and, and synchronous ways to communicate. If I tone that down, what that means is, you know, my time, right, and, and your time, the idea that I can communicate with you on my time and then I can communicate with you in real time. That's the perfect marriage. And social gives us the platform to build that and Cisco gives us the technology to deliver it and then we try to bring it all together. Perfect. Well, we're excited to see what ESNA has on the horizon. And thank you so much, Dave, for taking the time out to speak with us this morning. No problem. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right. Thanks, thank guys. You. Have a thank good you. day. You too. Bye.